Welcome everyone. Welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys running tarot readings for only the signs requested. Okay, so if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you got to be my subscriber. You got to hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know. All right, so um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Welcome on in, Pisces. I hope y'all are having a good February. And I'm looking forward to this reading. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a five heart card spread, if I can find my words. <laughs> we're gonna start off with a five card spread on your love life. Figure out what's going on, okay? I hope y'all are having a good Valentine's Day. If not, you know, hopefully we find some uh, answers here, some solutions here so that you get back on track with your love life. Because, I mean, Pisces needs love, right? I know all about it. You know, I've got like how many Pisces placements? i got more Pisces placements than Aquarius. Even though I'm Aquarius sun with three placements in Aquarius. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely with y'all there, but that just flew out. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, not a fan. Ain't gonna lie. That's some ugly stuff right there. Holy crap. Yeah, that's something something has come to a painful end. And somebody's really, I mean, the thrill is gone. This is like erectile dysfunction right there. Like, I'm not saying you have that or anyone around you. I mean, you might. <laughs> but, okay, it's like someone's not feeling it, okay? Um, Ace of Wands in reverse is just like... Um, not at all turned on okay there's um some kind of re rejection somebody's turned off and i i mean why not you've got it's right next to the ten of swords which is pretty damn ugly um wow why are we starting off like that y'all should be doing great my god we've got jupiter and pisces and what is this about you know i mean of all signs right now to be doing good it should be pisces okay Heck yeah, my daughter is a son in Pisces, and she's been feeling it, okay? This is going to have to heal up, okay? We're going to see, this is, we're getting off on the wrong start here, okay? But hopefully this evolves into something beautiful. Hopefully we turn this in the reverse, and you get, you know, some kind of healing there. Because I'm going to tell you in the upright, we are looking at some kind of pain, all right, that needs to be transformed into power, and maybe somebody's been trying to run away from emotions here, Pisces. Yeah, you know, y'all can do that sometimes. Y'all can swim away, keep swimming, keep swimming, right? Uh, somebody turned you off or rejected you or you rejected them and turned them off. I don't know which way it is. We just started the reading. We'll see how this goes. But um, some of you really need to tap into those feelings and figure out what do you really desire because somebody, something here is not desirable with that ace of wants in reverse and yeah because maybe they're not putting the work into it there's some kind of indifference some kind of pulling away here I, i'm just not a fan but hopefully as this reading goes on we're going to put that in reverse because if it's in reverse that is about um you know letting go and regenerating and beginning again and what comes after that ace of swords victory brand new beginning agreement truth love it okay so we're going to see if we can get some kind of evolution on that. Well, these cards are really want to talk. Five of Swords um, and Four of Wands. I still haven't gotten to my five cards there, but let me just say this is maybe about disagreements, okay? Arguments for some of you. You just not, you don't have the same mindset. You're not on the same mental sphere, okay? Uh, somebody might be afraid of being judged, being shamed, or feeling that they're inadequate in some respect. And needs to have a willingness to take some kind of risk. Um, with a four of wands in reverse, this is like, it might have to do with somebody who's going through some difficult time in their life right now. And they're unwilling to shake things up in their life to get changed, but they need to. Also, it could be a breakdown of communication in a relationship. 
and I'm definitely seeing disagreements here. For some of you, I might have dealt with somebody, you know, actually leaving the home. If you lived with this person, they might have left the home because I can see a lot of arguments with both of those cards. Five of Swords and Four of Wands in reverse. A lot of arguments, okay? But let's do the five card spread and see what we come up with for Pisces with their love life. All right, the foundation. Three of Swords in reverse. Well, you know, in the upright, pretty damn ugly card, not a fan of it. But if I were to see this card in any way, I want to see it like this because it's telling me that you are healing. You're healing from whatever. It, it's a separation, which again, I saw somebody might have left the home. But I am seeing that um, for some of you, again, disagreements, incompatibilities. Somebody maybe found the courage to end a relationship because there's some kind of emptiness. But with this in the reverse... Um, you know, there's a release of pain. Uh, might, again, come through venting. A lot of verbal energy here. The main issue here is somebody needs to break free of some addictions. With the devil card, uh, might be a Capricorn is relevant. But in this particular deck, it has a lot to do with a soul tie. And maybe there was a deception, betrayal going on in this relationship and in the past i think that uh, perhaps the king of wands aries leo sagittarius was relevant but again i'm seeing that this person is very self-interested very impulsive egocentric me 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 okay and maybe wasn't listening and in the future i'm seeing somebody's not putting work into this sorry to say they're pulling away in some kind of indifference um, but again, I'm seeing that perhaps it's because they are healing, all right? They're trying to heal from this situation, and they're like, you know what? If you're not listening to me, then I, I've, I've got to withdraw. I've got to work on healing myself. If I can't heal this with you because you're not willing to listen, you're not willing to see outside of yourself, then I'm just not going to put the effort into this anymore. Um, and again, I'm also seeing with this Eight of Pentacles, kind of similar to that Ace of Wands in reverse that pulled that fell out, um, that somebody has maybe lost the ambition or the drive or the passion to um, keep pouring into this, you know, any, any further. Uh, they might have grown indifferent to it, okay? And at the foundation, I'm seeing somebody does not know how to proceed. This is kind of, this is the same card that showed up in the same position for the Aquarius reading. So I don't know if, some of you might be like me, you have a lot of Aquarius placements. Um, very common, right, for Aquarians to have a lot of Pisces placements and Pisces to have a lot of Aquarius placements. You might want to go check out that video. Um, but I am seeing here somebody does not know how it might be a financial issue. It might be a difference difference of values. What they value is in conflict with what you value. But I'm also seeing with that two of pentacles that somebody is not clear or sure or confident within themselves. They don't feel secure about uh, how to move things forward. Uh, there's some kind of uncertainty or fear of getting involved. And, oh, ace of pentacles in reverse. Um not a fan because it's telling me, you know, the overarching energy here and the outcome is that there will probably be a missed opportunity. Somebody's maybe realizing, hey, the sex might have been hot on with this person because I am seeing that perhaps there's fire showing up, but all the fire is coming up in reverse. Let me say that. Yeah, that four of wands, that ace of wands, the king of wands is all in reverse where it's like... There's passion there, and I'm even seeing that with the devil. There's some kind of arrows type of very erotic energy, or there's, it's not that, it's, it's, it's a very passion, it's a soul tie, okay? There's a lot of warmth in this connection, yet, has it gone cold? Has the flame burned out? Because I'm seeing um, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, uh, there's, there's maybe a lost opportunity here. Or somebody decides, I have got to get my power back, I had to take my power back, disconnect from this, because... Um, it's a bad investment. I'm not going to be able to get what I value out of this again, because in the undercurrent, 
there's some kind of, it might be a financial issue, all right? I'm also seeing maybe, just side note, maybe a loss of home or somebody leaving the home. I saw loss of home with that, leaving the home with the four of wands in reverse for some of you, okay? But for others of you, if this is not on a material level. This has to do with your values, your sense of security and stability. Somebody doesn't feel stable and secure in this relationship. Somebody does not feel like they're able to get gratified, mind, body, spirit, according to their value system because there's something out of whack with the values and i'm going to do what i did before with the aquarius reading like what are their values what are their values what are their values for pisces i'm going to take the upright cards social justice an exciting life that's that's interesting they want stimulating experiences. Maybe why I've seen all that fire, I, it, it, it's in the reverse. It was like, okay, well, you know, I mean, is this some good excitement or bad excitement? I mean, you can get stimulated, but I mean, there's good ways to do that. So uh, universalism, correcting injustice, care for the weak. I don't know. This, this is kind of an odd message. Like, on one hand, I'm seeing a very, you know, with that king of wands in reverse, a very self-interested person not able to listen to others. Yet they're valuing, okay, so what I'm getting intuitively is like, this is a person who is maybe good, um, uh, you know, like they, they're very in tune with their own needs or the needs of the collective, but on an interpersonal level, something is maybe lacking, okay, uh, that flipped, self-respect, achievement, a belief in one's own worth that's interesting so there we go again with the self 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 is what i'm getting okay how about you pisces all right those just came out you want security stability you want honesty someone who's genuine and sincere in a relationship these are very benevolent cards all right um and forgiveness somebody who's very i'm hearing merciful this is i just heard merciful okay between the two of you cleanliness neat tidy i don't that's a it's a very interesting message okay we're, we're gonna go deeper into this all right but i don't know i'm getting some kind of somebody likes to party and have their own thing going on and i think that you want something on more of an emotional level um and something grounded and secure i do think both of you want some security but again um, I think it's that you don't want things like to get messy. That's 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 an odd, odd message. Um, let me kind of get some cards here. Like, what is the overall vibe of this relationship? What is the overall vibe of this relationship? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fla fun, flirting, want to date. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Again, it's, it's got this kind of scorpionic thing that I saw in the Aquarius reading with the butterfly and things evolving because the Phoenix and the butterfly are both symbols of, of Scorpio. So in some way, Scorpio might be relevant here. Okay, that didn't want to go down. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Well, you know, I told you that I saw that. There has been some kind of separation from what I can tell. But I'm almost getting this vibe like somebody's just kind of on the sidelines, right? And I kind of saw it over here like, I don't know how to proceed with you. I don't know how to approach you. I don't know how to work this out. Um, maybe I'm not going to look at it. How about that? I'm going to turn away or I'm going to shield my view. Um, I'm not going to listen. I saw a lot of that. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to take my power back. Uh, because I think somebody here wants some kind of change. I think that they they like uh, somebody, all right? Like, or the two of you like each other, all right? 
but um, there's something about making a healthy choice and evolving this renewing this getting the growth in your life because i think there might have been something toxic here with the bond and somebody's like you know i've got to make a healthy choice in my life i like this person but i need healthy change in my life let's see what the romantic advice is oh that really wants to come out pay attention to the red flags oh i bet you got them right there with that double card you sure got them there's another one new love Oh, I don't know. I just heard Jody Watley. I'm looking for a new love baby. Yep. Healthy choices. I just heard take the glasses off. Take the glasses off. Okay. Listen. Listen to what spirit's telling you. All right. About, you know, what's a good investment and what's not. What you need to do to heal. Saying a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. But I'm also getting with that person, you need to pay attention to red flags, okay? You need to, if, if you want to get out of a cycle, right, of who you're attracting into your life and who you're attracted to, you got to look at the red flags, okay? Chemistry, wow. Some of you got to have new love coming in, all right? If you are not aware of it already, okay, it's coming in. But... I'm getting some kind of message here like you, the kind of people that you're attracted to or that you find chemistry with, there's, they come with these warnings. They come with these red flags. Uh, let me see. What is the shadow energy here in these relationships that need to be paid attention to? Yeah. Please show me this shadow energy, shadow energy, that double card and the healthy choices. And the red flags card, please clarify. Oh, look at that. Look at all of that. What a mess. Self-indulgent. I don't know why I'm getting like people come in like, oh, I want you Pisces. I want you. And you feel the desire coming off of them. And you feel like, oh, you know. Um, and I think and I can say this for the Pisces, right? Like I've got my moon and my Venus and Pisces and my Jupiter and Pisces and my black moon Lilith and Pisces. So sometimes you can misinterpret this, right? Because the Pisces is kind of a passive energy. We want to be chased, right? We want to be chased. We do. It's a very feminine energy. Even if you're a male Pisces, you know? And so you, you can maybe misread this energy as, oh, I'm wanted. You want me. When in fact, it's not really about you it's about this person feeding this little demon <laughs> for themselves you know um forceful repel secretive invading well there we go again with um watching looking stalking okay somebody's probably you know got their eye on you all right they're they're looking they're looking at you but i don't really think that they're being vulnerable. I don't think they're really showing you how they feel. All right. They might even be putting up a front like, no, I, I'm not letting you in. I don't, I don't want you. I'm not really interested in you like that. Or, or yeah, I'm interested in you, but, but not that much. Just stay back over there. Okay. But I'm also getting this person maybe with a sexual energy. Um, somebody here is really forceful. And again, that might be a super turn on, especially if you've got a lot of feminine energy like me and you need, you need that masculine energy in your life to be very assertive very um you know uh what's the word i'm looking for initiative right but then you misread this as oh you want me you desire me no it's not about you it's about them feeding that little demon be aware of that do not confuse i feel like i gotta say this do not confuse intensity for intimacy let's say it again it's simple but it's deep do not confuse intensity for intimacy all right i was about to ask what do they what do they think about you and i got king of pentacles in reverse and the um chariot in reverse okay Seems like they are thinking they can't trust something to move forward. 
again, I'm getting some ego um, self-interest here with that um, King of Pentacles might be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, with the Chariot might be Cancer, Sagittarius. I'm getting some definite control issues with both of these cards. Um, somebody who feels like they have to win at any cost. Um, they might have, like, be aware this might be a person who has debt problems or they perceive you as a person who has debt problems. This might, again, I'm getting that somebody that you don't feel that you can trust. Um, this could also be a very, again, greedy, um, self-indulgent type of, I'm going to get mine. Don't misread it. Don't get confused here, all right? Because I'm also seeing with this chariot in reverse, very aggressive energy, very asserting in their own needs and their own wants. And on the surface... It might look like, oh, this person really wants me, but it doesn't really have much to do with you. It has to do with them. Um, I'm also seeing some kind of maybe arrogance here of look at what I can get. And this person might be really, be, they might become also very aggressive or assertive if they feel that they're not getting the forward movement in the way that they want. If they perceive that they're being delayed or held back, they can get a lot more aggressive. Oh, well, I got a lot of cards now. Well, there's air sign, water sign. Oh, there's that three of swords in the upright. Okay. So I'm seeing with this person um, that when they make a decision, they're very logical about it. Like, this is what I know, this is what I need and what I'm gonna do. And it's real, it could be even very, you know, cutting. Um, they make a lot of head over heart decisions and very swift, like cutting, like this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I need. and. Um, it might have to do with absolutely you, like you're coming in Queen of Cups, like very uh, emotional, loving, nurturing, empathic. But they're meeting you with this very um, head over heart and your heart over head. I mean, I'm not a fan of this, honestly. I think you're going to decide emotionally you're going to move away from it, okay? But are they see you doing that? Let this out. Again, I'm seeing this energy of separation and somebody maybe leaving the home. If it hasn't been done, they're thinking about it. And I'm seeing again, moving on, leaving some difficulty behind. Because frankly, I feel that... This person has this energy like, I'm just going to get mine. There's more about, you know, somebody feels like they're not getting what they want when they want it. With the three of, of wands in reverse. There's something about being delayed. When they've been delayed, they get arrogant and they're like, but mine, mine, mine. Um, And again, if it's not quite coming off very in your face aggressive, it's this under, it's right behind the, the mask, like they're putting on this nice show, but behind the mask, they're aggravated, they're frustrated that their long-term goals are not being achieved, that there's been some kind of obstacle. Maybe they didn't see it, okay? Again, with the sunglasses and this card over here, it's like lack of foresight because somebody was so like about going after theirs that I'm somebody got pushed back here in getting forward movement. And so they're either openly or covertly frustrated about that. And they're like, I'm just hearing a by any means necessary type of attitude. They're going to ramrod their way through. Uh, what are you thinking about this? What are you thinking about this? Woo, you have withdrawn. Some of you decided you're going to just be single, okay? Virgo might be relevant here with that Hermit card. 
I think that you're just, you've gotten really um, maybe going spiritual on this. Like, I'm going to seek God. I'm going to try to get spiritual guidance to find the light in this dark place. There's that king of swords again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Whoever this person is, they might be an air sign. Um, but again, I mean, I saw, I saw a lot. I saw, you know, fire. I saw, you know, regardless of sign here, okay? I saw earth. This person is coming across really cutting to you, and maybe you're trying to get to the truth of the matter yourself, okay? But uh, maybe you're trying to make a decision, like a spirit-guided decision, about what you need to do uh, with your love and romantic life to be more intentional and get the victory. I do think that you have actually a lot of um, people looking at you, Pisces, who would be willing to make a romantic offer, all right? Some of you, though, again, you, in this time of being alone or withdrawing, trying to find that light from within and get clear within yourself, setting intentions about what you're going to do, um, with your romantic life, you are maybe a little bit nostalgic about the past when you felt like you were getting victory with this person. Anything else? Anything else for Pisces? What else is Pisces thinking? Anything else? Leo might be relevant. Um, but I, I do feel some boundaries here and some holding back and restraint. There might be a confidence issue here. There's that two of pentacles again at the foundation. I don't know if this is a money issue or again, you know, values are off. Honestly, it looks like you want something more on an emotional, spiritual level. This person is very much about self achieving their goals, living a life that stimulates them. I feel like there might have been arguments with this person or harsh words or just at least somebody thinking within themselves uh, in a way that just put some kind of emotional distance between the two of you and some kind of disharmony in the way the two of you communicate or in your home life and it just brought about some kind of pushback and you getting the growth and expansion in this relationship. I hope there wasn't a three-party situation. I'm going to say that. Because Three of Swords can sometimes be that. Let me clarify. What is that Three of Swords about? I'm getting something with arguments. Well, you know, this is, again, somebody being really forceful, having this really strong, overbearing type of energy about them going after theirs. That's like a mama bear. It's like, I'm going to go get mine. I'm getting my provision. Yeah, it might have to do with money. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 God, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, all right. So, yeah. See, that someone is either, you know, there's a couple things going on here that I'm seeing. That they're either going after their money and to hell with love because they feel that this relationship is already on the outs. It's already over with. Or they're going after breaking this relationship up. I'm sorry. What is Pisces nostalgic about? I want to say that. Let me back up. Let me back up. This person, I am seeing over here, This whoever this person is, they're the ones who are doing this on social media. If somebody's watching you, right? I saw it over here. Yeah, several cards indicating somebody spying, uh, cyber stalking, okay, and not to get anybody nervous, all right, a lot of people do this, you go check on people's profile, how are they doing, you don't really want to call them up or ask, but you care about them, you know, that kind of thing, I see it more happening on whoever this person is representing, I think this is the other person, but it's a general reading, you might want to flip it, flip it how it applies, whoever this person is over here that I've been describing, they seem to be the one doing the spying on social media, this person is the one who's getting the attention, okay? And yeah, it looks like it's somebody somebody from the past, all right? Please tell me about Pisces. Who's looking? Oh, oh, wow, wow. 
Okay, that's an interesting irony there because that's about, actually it's, okay. So this is about the past, this is about something new, something old, something new, okay? So you might, somebody's wanting to get a new beginning with someone from the past, but they're holding back, they're showing restraint. I'm also seeing here something having to do with children or childhood. You might have known this person from your younger years. My goodness, what is this? That's a mess. That's just a damn mess right there. And that might be why you're holding back, okay? Um, because the direction that you're going in, I don't think that you're able to reconnect with this person. It's almost like you've gone in different directions, all right? And it's been going on for a long time. And I'm hearing that some of you are now on a different timeline, okay? Like, where th their life has gone in a totally different direction. And again, it might be this person over here or somebody else. If you are looking outside the relationship or somebody ha else, a third party, has interfered with a relationship... Or it's one of these back burner relationships where you're with somebody, but you kind of got this person in the back of your head like, hey, if that doesn't work out, I'm going to go over here. Well, I feel like so much time might have passed that you two drifted so far apart and there's a disconnect there that the two of you are on like different, different destinies, different timelines, okay? And so something you're, you're not giving to it. Um, some of you are not putting the work in. To bring this to pass and that would because that would involve you you know really um opening up more on an emotional level and i'm sorry to say yeah there's some romantic feelings here with this king i'm sorry knight of cups but again it's a very emotional uh and immature uh emotional energy similar to this and i'm getting here you know there's some kind of block with that where um Right? He's not a king of cups. I'm sorry to say. Like, this guy might be able to charm the pants off of you, okay? But he can't go the distance. He's not a king of cups. He's not a healer. He's not empathic. He's not um, a lover of souls, okay? This is somebody who has to mature beyond the idealism of love into understanding um, what real love is. Real love is not just a feeling, it's action. It's action, you know? Um, let's go into how, I mean, I got a, a good little mess going here, don't I? Try to ignore my mess, please. If I can straighten it out. Okay, so you know what? You're Pisces, you'll flow with it. You're gonna be okay with a mess. I just know it, you are. All right, so let's look at um, how do they feel, or what do they think, I should say. I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. Now, that came out in the Aquarius reading. I saw a lot of King of Swords, two King of Swords coming up on both sides. Like, this is what they think. They, I'm going to do what I think logically in my mind I need to do, and to hell with a heart, because I'm seeing it over here as well. To hell with a heart. Anything else? What else is this person? Fill in that one. I'm more affected than you know. Oh, well, it goes back to that, that uh, secretive. Yeah, I think beyond the mask, there's something like that going on. Okay. Right. And they're looking, they're watching. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I'm getting a couple cards here. I've thought a lot about you lately. Well, yes, you have, haven't you? Because I saw that with that page of um, swords. I feel safer in the silence. Oh, yeah, you feel safer on the sidelines watching that going on. Interesting. What does Pisces think about this? What does Pisces think about this? I'm in a much better headspace right now. I'm not the same person that you remember. I miss you regardless of how things seem. My mind and heart always come back to you. You've been in my dreams is at the foundation. So um, I think that both of you want and desire things from each other. 
okay? But I don't think either one of you are talking because I saw that. Or there's definitely, if you're talking, there's a lot of, there's a holding back, okay? Honestly, I feel that this isn't a relationship where there's been some kind of separation. Or if you are together, there's a feeling of aloneness, solitude in this relationship. And again, it's because somebody here is making head over heart decisions. Um, similar to what I saw in the Aquarius reading where, I, I mean, I think that there are feelings here, but they're being blocked with that moon in reverse. They're not really developing into the fullness of what they could be. And again, even on the side of Pisces, this could be your energy as well, where you're trying to get clear and intentional within yourself about what you're going to do. Which is helping to put you in a better headspace, but maybe changing how you're showing up in this relationship. Like maybe you're kind of matching their energy. You're not showing up so queen or king of cups. You're showing up more king of swords, like... Okay, so you're going to be logical about it, I'll be logical about it. You're going to be head over heart, I'll be head over heart. You know, you're not going to show up like, you know, King of Cups. I won't either, you know. I kind of don't like that. I, I feel that it's creating some kind of misalignment. But again, y'all know your situation, you know your story. I think there's definitely emotions here, okay? There's care, but there's something um, muted about it. There's something subdued about it. And um, I think that some of you need to look at why, why are you attracting these kind of situations into your life? Why do you, why do you like these people, right? Why are you, why do you feel there's a whole thing with attraction, you know, but if you keep attracting the same kind of person, um, where there's something not healthy, you're attracted to people who are not healthy for you, probably needs to get worked through. Okay. Obviously, obviously. What is a self-loving decision for Pisces? I just got to say that. What would be a self-loving decision for Pisces? Well, you got a whole lot popping out there. Break free. And I saw it there. Taking your power back. It's time to break free from feeling trapped by your past actions and the judgments of others. You can discard what no longer works for you. Well, back to this. Fear of judgment, shame. And that's why you're like, uh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Well, you know you need to take your power back and get free of whatever this toxic soul tie, whatever is, again, might be in your past, Pisces. Past actions. Doesn't work for you. Um, dream bigger is what it's saying. And um, we did get a card here about dreams. You've been in my dream. These, what, who do you dream about? Who do you fantasize about? You know, when you're Neptuning out... <laughs> Of your harsh reality, you know, who is it that you're, what is it that you're fantasizing about that, you, you know, attracts you? The, the advice here is you need to dream bigger than this. Sometimes we limit ourselves to small picture goals due to insecurity or fear of failure. Failure isn't certain until we give up. Allow yourself to start building what you really want. And then the co-creators will come. Play, reconnect with your inner child. Find a sense of whimsy and wonder in all that you do and create. Everyone has the ability to create a life of joy. It is our birthright to manifest our desires. So I think this issue of attraction and chemistry is very important to you. Um, and look, I'm right there with you. Okay. Um, I want to encourage you don't do this. Okay. I, I made this mistake. I made this mistake. I made a head over heart decision in a major relationship in my life and I regretted it big time, big time, okay? I didn't honor the heart. I really want to encourage you to step into this. And if it's not healthy for you to step into it, then you got to ask yourself, why are you attracting people where it's not a healthy choice for you to let that, that beautiful 
energy, emotional energy flow. Why can you not, why are you having to show up like, I'm almost getting like you're diminishing yourself, okay? You're this, but you're having to show up like this to people. You're having to dim your light to fit into their world because it's like they're showing up like that. And so, you know, you're coming down to their level. You're holding back the emotions. You're hiding them, repressing them, denying them or whatever, or minimizing them. Not really stepping into real love, but the idea or the idealism of love, which is quite naive here. This is who you are. And so how can you make a choice that is healthy? This is what needs to change and shift in your life. Now I'm making a mess again with all of this. Get up. That card was there. No matter how far we may think we've fallen, no matter what we, uh, what matters is that we try again. All is not lost until we give up. Don't give up, all right? Don't play passive. Don't play passive, I think is the advice here. How do they feel? How do they feel? Um, to be honest with you, I'm getting some um, past love themes and some new love themes so i might be getting them kind of blurred here i do feel that in the past you've had some toxic um soul ties with people it's a similar storyline that i've gotten with um aquarius in the aquarius reading and i feel like spirit is wanting you to tune into these things from the past in terms of of why are you attracted to people that come with these certain red flags or they're not healthy for you um, and it's not that you deny, repress, or hide your desires. It's that you recalibrate them, okay? Right? Like, let me give you an example. My Juno is an Aries. I need a very masculine man. I need an assertive, initiative man, right? I told y'all earlier, like, I want that. I want that. Oh, yeah. Chase me. Let me know you want it, honey. <laughs> I love that, okay? But um, if, if it brings this dark energy in, uh, maybe that's not so healthy, right? So the trick for me, which you know I know on an intellectual level, right? Because I've done this seeking God and trying to get clear within myself. Um, it's not that I abandon my desire for that. Because you can't really change who you're attracted to, okay? Can't really change you know, the magnetic attraction, the chemistry that you have with certain people, right? Um, but let's refine that. Let's recalibrate that and say, yes, I need somebody who comes in with this really powerful energy, but addendum here, right? I need somebody who uses their power to empower me as opposed to somebody who uses their power to disempower me. How can I get more enlightened about finding that? How? What does this person feel towards you? What does this person feel towards Pisces? What does this person feel towards Pisces? Fill in that one. Curious, they're very interested in you. Oh yeah, we saw that with a page of swords. So that kind of came in the reverse, all right? I do feel like they care about you. They have some romantic feelings um, about you, um, or they have in the past, but they're trying to release, uh, let go of that and the disappointment attached to that. Again, some of them are coming from this really mental space of, you know, I'm interested in what's going on, but I feel like there's some kind of blockage or shutting the door or holding back on love and again it's about i don't want to get defeated in this i don't want to get let down i don't want to be disillusioned by this connection and that's why they're taking a very logical approach proud sad weird okay hopeless that's i think the block what the the feelings that are getting blocked is um they don't they they don't feel they might have felt already defeated by the situation like they're not going to win they don't have a good outlook on this situation and yes there might have been rejection here and i saw that before and i'm getting this vibe here with all three of these cards like um this person re will reject before they let you reject them 
if they feel like I'm not going to win with you and that's going to hurt my pride, then I'm just not going to give you the chance to let me down. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of that. How about Pisces? How does Pisces feel about this? How does Pisces feel about this? How does Pisces feel? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's strange because I think at some level you are at peace with the situation. I feel that you have accepted something, okay? And you might feel like the situation is your fault, that if you rejected this person, and I feel that whatever you did that you feel guilty about, like if it was rejecting this person to go after your own um, fulfillment in life, because maybe you assess this person is not going to do it for you, okay? Um, you did this because you didn't feel safe. You didn't, there's some insecurity or a lack of security issue going on or stability. Maybe you didn't feel that this person was going to protect you or provide for you in a way that was going to satisfy you. It's like, sorry, not sorry. It's an interesting message because it seems like a logical decision has been made here that let's agree to disagree anything else anything else peaceful again and that's the second time at peace peaceful calm so i feel like you don't you don't want this person rocking your boat you don't want that the center you know between the two of you there's there's something that's freeing about it okay where somebody's independent they've like they've dropped the burden Getting free again, taking your power back, which is what I saw from the very beginning. Um, it's liberating, but again, I mean, where are the feelings here? Because I saw a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of, um, on their side, a lot of ego, a lot of being, uh, making head over heart decisions, a lot of insecurity, instability, lack of trust issues going on. Um, but for you, uh, you are showing up with emotion. It's just that you are guarded about it. And again, I think you've made a head over heart decision. This is what I've got to do to protect my heart and, you know, stay in my power and remain at peace. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but I don't feel secure with you. And honestly, I think that this person maybe shouldn't be trusted. I, I ain't going to lie. I think it's for good reason that you don't trust them. What is the love advice for Pisces? forgiveness didn't we have that card come up before and it was in the reverse nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments well you value that that's part of your value system i think that you're at a place of acceptance like sorry you know not sorry it is what it is um i don't think that you're holding on to it um maybe you need them to let go of something The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Well, Aquarius got that as well. Quite interesting. Um, love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, importance. Get to know each other. Aquarius had the get to know each other card. It was in a different deck, but same message. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. I'm honestly getting this vibe uh, off of this entire read that um, there's a lot of intellectual verbal energy, particularly coming off of this other person, but um, there's not this emotional, spiritual connection here. And that's kind of getting in the way of actually um, learning to meet each other's needs. It's keeping this person in a very egocentric space. But a better use of that, that sword's energy is learning, learning how to meet other people's needs, learning how to pour that love out. Somebody here definitely, I think in the past, I think it's you um, with that six of cups card. 
has some past hurts that have to do with security. And I feel, Pisces, that you are just, you're at a place right now where you've got this detector on you. If this person can't be trusted or you don't trust them, you're not, you're going to, you're going to disconnect. You're going to be like, no, I, I can't trust you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give you my all, right? Where's that card? I'm not going to be the queen of cups for you. Okay. I'm not going to give you creme de la creme. Okay. Because you're not giving me creme de la creme. I can't find it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I think some of you are maybe at a place where you've just got to forgive that some people are where they're at. They're, they are where they're at, you know, because they still have a lot of growing to do. You know, they can't be trusted because they have trust issues and other people that they need to work through. They have their own spiritual issues that they need to work through. And you've got to forgive them for their emotional baggage that they need to work through for them feeling like the only way to stay safe in their hearts is to just be logical about everything. Right. And I told you, I went down that journey. I went down that path and spirit led me and I've learned a lot since then. And I now know that's not exactly the way, um, there's pitfalls to that. I learned the hard way. Okay. But sometimes you just got to release people to let them find out on their own because you can't tell certain people. They have to live it and learn it that way. But for those of you who are at a place in the relationship where you can have quality conversations, right, which I'm seeing that being encouraged right now, definitely do. Sit down and let this person know what your needs are and how to meet them and recognize whether or not they're going to be able to do it. And I think for you, one of your big needs is emotional security. Somebody who's very honest and sincere and genuine and is showing up like your counterpart, King of Cups. This person is showing up like a king, but I'm not getting the emotion off of them to match your energy. I'm sorry to say. Go after the love, the gold standard. That's, I guess all I can say for you at that, at this point, that's the advice. Go after love. I hope I've helped somebody. Till next time, be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I want to talk to you guys about private readings. Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here. Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or, you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months, and they wanna know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do synastry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options that play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and i'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people again what are the strengths and weaknesses of either person who should you go with or on the should i stay or should i go um this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision you know what's going to happen if i stay versus what's going to happen if i go and um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for. But 
Um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> you've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading. If you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within, um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously, I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, know I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology. We can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.